there's a lot of different products out there that say they have peptides in them and they're basically utilizing that. They sell them on Amazon or, you know, obviously there's oral supplements like the uh, PPC-157 that you can take orally. Do those work or is that just kind of a marketing thing? Oral BPC-157 really just works on the GI tract, okay? It is, you know, not very well orally bioavailable. And so I would say that's one thing. You know, I've seen copper peptide, this GHKCU now being, like put into all sorts of more commercially available products. GHKCU is a peptide that can be more topically absorbed. Peptides, when they're very small, okay, like when they're much smaller amino acid fragments, tend to have better absorption when you kind of use topically. That's why we use something, KPV, as an example. It's a tripeptide. It's a really good anti-inflammatory. That, I believe, has topical absorption. But some of the bigger ones, bigger molecules, I don't think can be topically. 